shenanigans. <laughs> no He's hacks. Just damn good. Yeah, he just did a great job. We of, scanned uh, his keyboard. Turns out it's all clear. Yeah, it seems that everything's a okay. No, a lot of those fights, it was just uh, like one time it was he'd already precast the Sunder and then the. Uh, the Manta happened, but the Manta doesn't stop the, the spell, so he still followed through on the correct one. So that's kind of irritating, I'm sure, for poor Rezo, but mm -hmm. that's all right. It's a new game, and Rezo has a new hero in the Arc Warden, who's already received a quite a few tips. I think a five-man tip just came out there oh, wow. on the little Rezo, so great start to your game there. A couple of hearts also being exchanged in all chat there, both sides. Positive morale here. It's been a pretty epic series thus far, Trent. Hoping for this exciting ender. Talk to me about Ember Spirit a little bit, though. You've been m m uh, whispering in my ear all day. This looks <laughs> like a great Ember Spirit game. I think Ember Spirit. We finally get to see it. Do you have the confidence in this one? Well, every game, it's pretty easy to point that out when there's a Terra Blade. Uh, yeah, okay. Every two seconds. Okay, fair. TB or PL, so that he's kind of in a go-to. But yeah, every one of those games, I'm just looking at him like, oh, but there's this one stun, and oh, there's this, and there's that. And even in this game, there is Ember, who's a little scary to play against as an Ember. Like, you're trying to farm these waves. You're always stuck in the middle of them. You just get blown up. It happens, like, at least twice a game, I feel like. It's just, it's a guarantee of playing Ember versus Zero's Trigger. You just have to kind of accept that. But mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't too worried about the laning stage because it, it looked pretty clear that he'd have to be on the side lane. He definitely couldn't go mid. If you're giving up a 10th pick to the enemy hero, you can't, like, guarantee that that's going to be for an Ember mid, right? right? Unless you're maybe going to dual lane him or something. But uh, he will be on the side lane for you are, and then they're going to have Rezo in the mid on the Arc Warden, as he usually is, and once more he'll be joined by MSS. This was the successful strat in game one, mm -hmm. and they're going to try and quickly put some bully onto this Visage. Yep. Now see uh, supports maybe rotating in. Right now, SVG and Solo exchanging blows in the jungle. SVG looking to grab this creep wave, I think, if he can snag it. <laughs> Ring around the rosy here. Maybe not. Oh, oh. The slow actually oh. kind of ruins it for him. It's uh, pretty hard. That poison touch, 14% slow is just enough that he can't grab onto the creeps. Oh, he's so fast, too. Is, is SVG going to die? die? I always had the same thought. <laughs> where wait, This is the, this, the fear of right, Dazzle. The, the can... Oh, he tangles it so he can't get fogged. He can keep the slow going. And now the TP. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's true. That, that's a pretty good option to have so against the Dazzle. Victory for Solo. Yeah, we, they, we got, they've we got changed a little Poison Touch on a little bit. If only it was that old Poison Touch, although it would have taken a few more levels for that stun to kick in, I guess. But either way, good start here for VP. Looking at our other lanes, uh, we've got Universe up top, all Solo right now on that Magnus. And it is going to be the solo visage mid for now. They're not going to rotate another support and just let no one basically get zoned out for these first couple waves. Yeah, all three heroes are the same XP, but this wave is pushing it onto no one, so we should be able to take a little bit of an edge here. And I'm just happy to keep on slapping him down, though. Basically, they're trying to double deny him right now by using the ridiculously high base damage, but they're not winning. No one is still getting last hits despite two heroes attempting to deny him. Yeah. I always get nervous when I see a Visage in a game like this. He, he feels like a hero that is so strong so early, but I feel like I've cast a lot of Visage games where he can't quite close it out, then loses that momentum, and all of a sudden what feels like a, a win goes the opposite way. A lot of pressure on VP to actually close this out in a timely manner. He is just uh, he's such an obnoxious hero, though. At like yes. 25 minutes, if he had just kind of an okay game, suddenly he feels unkillable. Yes. A, a stupid Gravekeeper's Cloak gets so difficult to handle. But it, it, it requires a degree of perfection in terms of execution, where if you make those missteps at that timing, you can fall yeah, off for sure. very, very quickly. Yeah, for sure. It's very Drow-esque kind of deal where yeah. it's like, sure, you build up a little bit of a lead and you start hitting this tier three really early on, but one step too far and maybe just throw the whole game. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, once more, we'll have the Dazzle TB lane. And this time they're uh -oh. being way more aggressive than the previous games. Solo was tanking some tower shots there, but Roger comes in with a nice fissure to break things up. You are with the Flame Guard on, just trying to find some last hits here. SVG hit by a poison. Oh, no, never mind. Not hit by a poison. That was just an auto attack. Okay, no first blood despite the aggressive movements with now three heroes in the bottom lane for VP. So that's going to leave Pasha solo on the Phoenix up here. It's got a wave, though. Um, haven't mentioned it, but core Phoenix. We've seen a lot of support Phoenixes, but uh, this is a, a three yeah. Phoenix here. Yeah, I think... Oh, we were expecting one earlier, right? But then we ended up getting the core Shaker instead during correct. the Alliance game. Yes, so. correct. Uh, but advantages, uh, already it looks like a pretty good Phoenix game. There's not really any good egg killers. The, the best one would be the Arc Warden and the Clone. And if that's mm -hmm. a support, that's probably enough. But when it's the core Phoenix, he gets the levels a lot faster, can itemize quicker into like a Shiva's Guide or something to help prevent the attack speed. And should 
give you good eggs. It's not a guarantee, of course. It comes down to the positioning of Rezo, but it's all on him. And nice Fisher in the mid lane actually just canceled to go on to no one. Broke up a shackle. Mm. Yep. And he secures an arcane room for himself. But another scenario here where Universe is going to have a lane where he's going to be able to farm no one. Is this going to be the first blood? Spark Wraith chases him down, and Resolution gets the bonus. Goal. Level one, still enough damage. Just barely. I think that was like that was the really exact close. amount of damage needed. 100 damage, 75 each. Oh, it's a Visage. <laughs> ah, can't forget about that little hero. Mm -hmm. Of course, has uh, some terrible magic resistance. Universe almost in trouble up top, but able to skewer over there. We'll make it back to his tower. Radiant scans here, looking for someone lurking nearby. I'm not going to trigger anything. SVG down bottom again, up to some shenanigans. Trying Even to get this creep wave back. Free bloodlust. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, guys. Need that movement speed. I don't have booties. That's a sad ogre. Nothing but a stout. Yep. Oh, no. My arch nemesis. It's that Dazzle. Shadow Priest. But now MSS is here, and Dazzle will get brought down. Only level well, level three, no point in the shallow grave. You put two points in poison. Wouldn't have saved him there anyway. Good crowd controls from MSS. That didn't seem fair. Two on one there. No, it definitely was not. So Universe looks like he's going to get off to a pretty nice start again, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the drawback to this lane up here. Roger has rotated back up, and even these two heroes, they can't really stop Universe from snagging those last hits and controlling the waves pretty well. I guess Fissure does break things up a little bit, but whoa, Universe, he finds a free pick on Pasha. And it's a wasted and shrine. And he used the shrine, too. Oh, no. Not that's even a, having vision. That's just a good heads-up play. Meanwhile, bottom, Yawar will be able to secure that kill onto Ramses as he gets left alone. Yawar barely okay, lives. That's, that's four nothing now. Suddenly some two pretty big kills. Yeah. Great game sense from Universe, though, to be in the right place at the right time. Just doubles down, knowing that they wasted the shrine on that. And now he could even potentially go for another kill here with the RP, depending on like how much HP Pasha uses and if he can watch uh, with the Icarus dive. But again, more pressure no on one? the no one. Like even if they don't get this kill, like they're gonna force out another salve, and, and they, they can't really turn around here. Pull another uh, rotation from Roger, and Roger actually gonna be in some trouble. MSS with a lot of shackle, but yeah. resolution in too deep. His solo now makes the rotation. It's Virtus Pro that get their first kill up on the board. For the record, they had vision there. That was a really weird goal. Like, there is a dire observer up on that high ground that kind of saw that those heroes were still hanging around there. Right. I'm really surprised they, they still tried to go for that shackle kill onto Roger. Because, like, they forced back for the salve onto no one. And I was like, oh, but they can't turn, right? Because no one can't turn around and get a kill because it would take way too long. But they just they just stood there. Uh -huh. And then, of course, the rotation from Solo is what really tipped it with the shadow poison. But yeah. I keep saying shadow poison with the poison touch. Poison touch. He's not we'll shadow, get shadow demon. demon eventually. I know. It's confusing. Shadow Priest, Shadow Demon, all sorts of poisons. Shadow Shaman. Nether, Nether Realms. Universe up top. Be just fine. Skewer across the fissure. Definitely knows his limits here. Been a little bit of a tough laning phase for Roger. Feels like an Earthshaker without a home, where he kind of wants to be top to pressure Universe, but forced to rotate mid to try to make some space for no one. Yeah, it's not really a lane you can play in. Uh, yeah. At the same time, it's like a dual lane mid, so the problem is that you can't do anything in a dual lane mid scenario. you just be sucking away from your Phoenix. But Egg comes in right on top of them. Very bold, but with the Fire Spirits, they don't have an answer. MSS goes oh down. Oh my god, Pasha! Resolution on the run. They're going to be able to bring him down. He's out of options. Only level 5, and he is dead. The immediate tip from no one. 3-4, to four, VP striking back hard. A Phoenix that got solo killed at a shrine by the enemy, like 1v1 situation. What a comeback, Pasha. Oh, Solo goes in a little too far. He's going to hand one over to forward. It's unfortunate. Roger. Shackles, pretty good against Grave. Roger on the way in. They want to finish off your war, and he will get it. <laughs> he just gets pushed in the worst spot. Buys his soul ring, even if he goes down here. But there's no mango on this ogre. There's no fire blast. And he's still going to die. They've got enough damage. It's Resolution. Yeah, that the party. Rezo also going Necronomicon. First item. The, uh, the farming Necro. Mm -hmm. We saw last time too. Just goes Necro and then yep. Demidas and then. Seems to be the build. Mid lane now. Yawar initiated on by no one. Follow up Fissure. There's your sleight of fist. They will be forced to back up seeing MSS make that rotation. And they'll get a freebie on the bird. That's kind of nice. 100 gold bounty right there. <laughs> Instantly tipped. 
Uh, they're, they're having a good time. Mm -hmm. So that's, is that both birds down? I don't see the other one. Uh, looks like it, unless it's scouting around somewhere. Script's on the hunt. Seems to, <laughs> seems to be dead. <laughs> yeah, gonna be uh, 60 seconds till the familiars come back. And it looks like Helm of the Dominator gonna be the choice oh. for Visage here. Yeah, Pasha. Not an item okay. you see too often. Yeah, Big definitely lane. the Vistage hero, though. I mean, that that's his item. Yeah. He's the only one. Him and, like, so Does anyone else Enigma. build that item? That's not even Enigma that much anymore, honestly. But Darkseer. Like, Still core on Darkseer, I would say. Lycan? Yeah, yeah, Lycan, Lycan's cool, too. We like. I hesitate hero. just to say Lycan in general. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it didn't go too well for Silar uh, last night. Sounded like uh, the Silar Lycan even losing a game. So that's how you know the hero's got to be in trouble. Yeah, I, I didn't catch that one, but I, I heard rumors we were about it this morning at breakfast. We were all in bed while to stay up. Oh, those poor, poor boys. Roger being uh, chased away behind the tower while Universe just keeps slamming into it. This big, jacked up Magnus, that bloodlust. Terrifying hammer, really. I mean, this thing is just gyrating. His whole set is pretty scary, oh. I'm going to be honest. Down bottom. Ramses. And just to secure a bounty. Oh, nice, but it does go it's into the it. Tempest Double. All right, so how is it this guy can find the right PL and yet he sunders the Arc Warden clone? <laughs> Riddle me that. <laughs> That's what I want to know. I have no explanation for that one. I think that I, was just, I need to survive. The real What's one? the closest target? Yeah. Get in the <laughs> hell out of here. I'm just kidding. The real one was at a rage. Just, oh, okay. It was just funny. Well, he lives. He survives. Thank goodness that Terrorblade lives. I mean, mm -hmm. I would hate for this hero to lose a game and then never see him again. Can well, I mean, What would our lives be like without TV in every match? We can only dream a world without tuberculosis. No one does have his Helm of the Dominator. The HOTD. Yeah. And that means the double catapults at the 10 minutes. The question is, will someone come to help him? And the answer is yes. Pasha is ready, willing to dive in there with an egg. They want these catapults on the high ground. And Universe will RP the two catapults. Doesn't look like that'll be the solution, it turns out. That, that's weird. Here's the aggressive glyph to make oh sure this will work. And that's a easy tier one tower kill now for and BP. And instantly pinged top. Like that wave is close. The catapult is a moving. Down, Get me up there. Down bottom though, forward gaming will grab an objective of their own. Rasta Ward's deployed. That level one Necronomicon put to good use. They will go one for one in terms of towers. Question now is will forward rotate up top to defend this tier one that is soon to be taking some pretty heavy can. damage. Like once Arkhorn commits into a lane with like these necros and stuff, he doesn't really do anything if he comes top. True. Um, I mean, maybe if the spark rates are good enough, that can be a, enough of a deterrent. But at this point, I think this tower is just forfeit. Yeah, I think you're right. They're going to let it go. It'll end up being a two for one tower trade. Maybe they can get another objective or a kill in mid. Pasha left alone, getting surrounded by enemy heroes. But There's no hex here. So MSS just has to go for the walk at you, Strat. Yeah, not uh, so easy. Phoenix going to be able to outrange that one. Meanwhile, the top tier one does fall. At least uh, they kept the catapult alive bottom for a little while, so they get about a quarter of the tower there, Brezzo, so slight win. Any idea why uh, Ramses is Dot Clown at the end of his name? Is there any uh, he's, he's clowning. explanation? He's just clowning on fools, he's that's just, it? I mean, that's his life. Straight clowning. All right, how he lives it. Clown Wants shoes. everyone to know. Uh, Roger, speaking of living, not doing that so much. Wow, RP. they actually commit the RP. I mean, I'm sure, I'm down. I'm like a happy Earthshaker right now. Yeah. I guess, uh, no. I think it's because he like he skewered hmm. in, so they don't have a, a hex, so I guess he thinks that... I don't know when VP used the smoke exactly, but I think they were just worried that there could be reinforcements coming. MSS Jeez, is going to tank died. that smoke gank. So. so fast. But down bottom, they're going to go in onto Ramses. No Sunder this time for the TB. They'll get brought down. Now that is a good return kill. With these Necros here, this tower should be going down, and shockingly, it is not the... Vi like, the Visage is the one jungling. And this Ember and Arc Warden are taking towers. Yeah. So Whip comes like out. A, a big win. Pasha feels like he hasn't had an impact in a while. He's not been able to find like another play with the egg. He's still trying to build up in towards this Midas. He's just sun rain. <laughs> just checking out the high ground there. Like, are they up here? Yep. But yeah, I think up top they were just worried that that Earthshaker might be bait. So yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and then like he could have just TP'd. It. So you probably use yeah. the RP anyway. Just, just make it a quick, it in. quick kill, no mucking around. Yeah. Let's not roll the dice. They didn't end up getting that tower though. Like even with all the uh, spark rates put down, it didn't feel safe enough. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna be the correct call in the bottom lane there for forward. But they do force a glyph though. 
minor victory and getting close to that Midas uh, on the oh, Ardenboard. Oh, man. This is such a win more lineup from the Radiant, though. Like, if you just w like just get two kills, somehow it happens. Maybe throw down an egg and let's say Rezo and Universe die. They can just instantly take Roche. Or they can oh, yeah. instantly take a tier two and potentially even a tier three between Metamorphosis and a Visage Medallion with the birds, with the helm. Mm -hmm. It yeah. can all just fall apart so quickly for you. Absolutely agreed there. MSS up to the same trickery again. Stacked up some Ancients, deployed the wards. Gets him close to level nine. A little extra gold going his way. The Radiant did see it though, as they have an Observer blocking the Ancients. Oh, there it is. It'll get taken out. And Rasta Wards will despawn. Now VP may be thinking they can take something in the pit without the Rasta Wards available. Still a little early, though. They can't kill Roche that fast. Look at Solo. Trying to make some space for the team. He will go down. This feels very risky for Virtus Pro, though. Forward, they're going to charge right the into the pit. There's the RP. Connects on one and a couple of birds. But it's a great setup. Dunk for Roger. Does get the return kill onto Universe, but they've lost no one. Yawar trying to survive. Clipped by the Supernova. Resolution in retreat. He's got the Tempest double behind. Forward Gaming have lost two. Not the ideal fight, but they do intercept the Roche. And now back in onto the Terrorblade. Necronomicon units joining the party just to despawn. Okay. SVG blocked out. Bird flying yeah, overhead. Yeah, bird scouting. He's just dead. Connects with the stun on the stone form. Will have to let himself go. Man, that was your blink. Essentially, your blink reveal. Like, that was your first big fight with the blink dagger from the side of forward gaming. And look at, look at that damage from this Earthshaker. That is an Earthshaker without blink. Wow. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. I, I actually thought he had blink when that happened, but unless I'm mistaken, I think he might have got RP'd and screwed in there. I think the RP only hit Visage and Birds. Well, then I don't know how he got in there. Because <laughs> that, that was my only explanation. So, Because I thought it was a better RP than it was, then I realized that it was just a bunch of familiars. It familiar was really close to getting it. Ramses, too, yeah. um, which, of course, could have helped turn things. But they were just uh, close to a couple item timings, it looked like, on the Dire, too. They so do stop the Roche, though, and now Rasta Wards have come back, and they're going to be able to take this Tier 1. No Glyph, because they did use it to save the Tier 2 down bottom. Phoenix jumps in, gets crowd-controlled. Shallow Grave will buy him some time. Icarus Dive is available. Oh, that last click. Oh, not enough damage. Is he going to live? Remnant forward. Yawar wants this, but a nice Fissure stops him dead in his tracks. Oh, he goes through. He misses the Shockwave. Universe on the high ground. Universe. Can't find Can he do it? Ring around the Rosie. Universe not going to win this one. Ramsey's now trying oh, to chase back SVG. You are. He's almost dead to the birds. Oh, what a disaster for forward. No one's going to be able to chase down you are, it looks like. Fiery bolas, but look at that Dark Troll Summoner. He's in hot pursuit. Oh, the Fisher Roger. <laughs> this guy is finding everything right now. SVG was able to survive. He moved into the trees. Still 20 seconds until his TP's up, though. Risky business. Is he going to get this kill on the Terror Blade, Sunder. though? Sunder. You need to Sunder. Ah! He's got the Shrine. Okay. <laughs> Oh, look, it's Roger. Again, cleaning up for everyone's mistakes. The mop and bucket. SVG looking for a neutral deny, perhaps. Wild Wing Rippers, not going to be much help. Good stuff for VP. 10 to 10. They uh, found the advantage. That is a at least one benefit of spamming Ogre. So you get that chat line. <laughs> you might have lost your soul, but... Universe uh, going for Crimson Guard this game on the Magnus. Great to have against the Visage and Terror Blade. Yeah, excellent item. I love how Universe itemizes Magnus so differently depending on the game. We've seen him rush Guardian Greaves. We've seen him go for just mobility items. Now we're seeing this Crimson Guard adaptation. I, hmm. I definitely see the value in the Crimson Guard, but I, I also kind of wonder what happens if he doesn't get a good RP in a fight. You know, like I'm thinking maybe I, like a Force Staff or yeah, Shadow Blade might I make more feel sense. Like it's it's dangerous without the Force Staff. Okay. It's definitely but, risky. I think it's a fair point. But it's also, it's almost like the safer item. Like, it's kind of risky to go that route, right? Like, this is a much safer item of saying, okay, I'm giving my team an aura, and now maybe I'll have a better opportunity to counter initiate with an RP just through, like, a skewer or something. So. Right. Whereas with, like, Force Staff Blink, you're pretty much all in on your ability to hit a decent RP. Yeah. Ember Spirit going for the Maelstrom. Getting pretty close. Just about 500 gold off that one. Always a big item. Now a smoke for VP. And yeah, they're smoking while they're losing a tier two bot though. Yeah, Ross Awards will get deployed and they're not gonna be able to get here in time. They do use the glyph, so delays the push. Maybe VP will just go for Roche instead. He has regen back to full HP. Again, seeing the Ross Awards used like that, maybe giving them an extra sense of confidence. But RP has cooled down. 
They see him with that Radiant Observer one, and now he just hops into the wave, too. They kill it quick, but they're, will they kill just it fast enough? They're going to make space. Oh, nice earn there. That, that just completely kills it, honestly. Yeah, and looks like Forward aren't even going to rotate that way. Hard to tell if they're unaware or if they just want to let it go, but either way, uncontested, Virtus Pro grab an Aegis of the Immortal for the Terror Blade. Mr. Clown. Mr. Clown, indeed. Oh, this is the Ember. This is what you worry about when you play this hero. <laughs> He's out of there. Actually, back down to his team. Not able to find anything, though, but comes to his Magnus, gets a fresh and power. That's nice. Absolutely. Team buffs here. The Ogre-Magnus combo once again. So Arc Warden's also getting quite a bit of nice farm. He's got the Hand of Minus. Now his Maelstrom's going to be on the way also. And also an Aether Lens for MSS. That recipe just about to get delivered. So three pretty big items just now getting completed for Forward Gaming. Yeah, it seems to be his go-to on the hero. Um, he has such short cast range that, like, Percentage-wise, it's a massive buff to the hero. Like, there's some heroes you buy it on. Like, you're playing Wyvern, you get an Aether Lens. Like, eh, it barely feels that different. Shadow Shaman, it, it really does feel like that pseudo blink. Like, it's yeah. such a massive in increase to the range for that hero, especially with how clutch the hex can be. Those stretch Armstrong shackles. They might be able to turn this if no one's not careful. He's keeping his distance though. Uh, just going to be a pick on SVG. A bit too much. Yeah, with that universe, there's no real hope. Feels like Forward are in this phase right now where they just want to farm until these next core items. You've got this Arc Warden who has really good net worth, but a lot of it is sitting on these items that don't provide a lot. Just that Hand of Might is still waiting for this investment to really pay some dividends. And a similar story for the Ember Spirit. He's going to go Yule Scepter next. All the while, VP. They're, they're ready to go. I mean, you look at that line that's drawn there from MSS. He's like, God, they're, they're just going to push our bottom lane in. They're, they're just going to do this. So we need to react really quickly, and that is a big win. You are forcing the rotation of the Aegis to the mid lane. Mm -hmm. Fight fire with fire, aggression with aggression. Working for now, forward, backing up to their side of the river as VP but are starting solo. to close. <laughs> Courier. Okay. So solo? <laughs> solo He's is all alone right now. Drops a ward in range of a sentry. That's a bummer. We'll be able to finish off that sentry soon to expire. Small win for forward. But they get away with it. They force him back and are able to dodge, taking an actual fight. And up top, that the tier one does go tower. down. Yep. That is impressive. Doing a very good job of playing around this ball of death from Virtus Pro. Like, this is their timing, right? This is the Aegis that is supposed to close out all these tier twos. You can tell by the way VP is positioning. Hungry for blood but here. Roger, the invis room. This could be exactly they need to crack this open. Universe would be a great target. The RP is so Important for their team fight wins. Roger wants. Oh my god, a sentry. You can him. tell <laughs> the way the ogre just instantly backs away. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just sit back here. No reason. Backdoor protection kicking in on this tier two, but some creeps will join the fray. Now they'll commit onto SVG. Pretty big commitment, and the ogre will go down, as will this tier two. Glyph not available. So they've now snaked, though. Magnus is coming home. He's going to be a little bit late to this. this I don't is, think he can save this tier, thir this this tier three. This is so scary for forward right now. Using the snakes like that gives VP extra confidence here. They're still a pipe. They're still a dunk. This they, melee rack should go down. They will put down the magnetic field. That'll help a little bit. Magnus stunned up. Blink Dagger gets broken. Melee Roger. barracks now under assault. They've already lost the range, and VP will get away with this. That's a mid lane of barracks down. They got to be careful on this chase. Roger has been great this game. If they try and go for something here, he could instantly initiate on them. It's a good spread from forward, though, not giving him that opportunity for an easy dunk. Great spread away from their melee racks to then lose them. Yeah. Very impressive stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if you get dunked, this, the thing that's scary is this game could just end if they biff that fight. No, that's true. They, they just got completely destroyed though, like. Yeah. All it took was that one moment, like an invis room just to scout behind a tower for Virtus Pro to say, okay, no one's here, just some ogre. Go, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah. It felt uh, just like last game, where Virtus Pro had this big push on the bottom onto a tier three. It's almost like this is why TB is so powerful right now. <laughs> one of many where reasons. One thing just happens and it feels like your game's over. Yeah. A ridiculous hero. A great concept. Two ultimates. Love it. How's our visage looking? He's picked up his pipe. Another 2k gold. 
I have to imagine Agonims is somewhere on that priority list, right? You know, they're familiar out there. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's thinking, because the Crimson Guard looks like kind of okay. I guess uh, if you don't want the Agonims, something like an Assault Karas also yeah. makes a lot of sense. He could also upgrade the Medallion into the Solar Crest, so that might be the next logical upgrade. But curious where this vis Visage is heading, and there you go. Yeah, Solar I, Crest I like secured. That. I think that's the best call. Yep. Can't complain. As Scotty also picked up. Well, now TB getting a little more utility to his name. As well as level 15 and that extra health from the talent. So, I mean, this is a Mjolnir Arc Warden. It is... It's never good to say, oh, it's only one lane of Rex. But it really is only one lane of Rex versus a Ember with Empower and an Arc Warden with a Mjolnir. So wave pressure is not a significant issue yet for forward gaming. It, it's still a very big moment for Virtus Pro because it's going to be increasing their net worth lead by lowering the economic uh, gains they can gain, get from this mid lane. But their uh, job's not done here yeah. quite yet. And Look forward. at Roger. He's going to pop this smoke with a freaking Shadow oh. Amulet. Oh, he just oh, he backs up in time. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Roger. But forward or maybe also, fortunate, depending. <laughs> that's true. Although, there's the RP onto the Visage. They commit wards for this. Yeah, that's worth 100. Oh, no. He shackled the bird. Uh-oh. Right, they've got the follow-up oh, hex. No, they should live. be able to kill this Visage, and they will bring him down. But it's a little bit of a close call. It's a sweater. I just, I have to, you know, I would have felt so bad. <laughs> that, that kind of stuff pains me inside. Yeah. But forward also have that dynamic of if they white Virtus Pro with all the roster wards, with the, the Arc Warden at this current state he's in with the Necro Book, they can knock down objectives, Roche, very quickly themselves. It's true. I think it's like it's like a little slower. Definitely so, a little slower. It's a little but slower. Compared to your average draft, they've got some pretty That's scary true. pushing prowess. They're above average, but they're below their opponents. Perfectly said, Trent. Mm. Much like the pedigree of this matchup, one mm. might even say. Well, Blink Dagger going to be secured for the Shadow Shaman. So now some more initiation for forward. How are we looking on Roche? Another minute until we see what that timer looks Man, like. Yeah, it feels really fast. Yeah. I feel like we just had that thing. It's been very action packed since our first Aegis. Absolutely. Very yeah. small lead for Virtus Pro right now. 2k net worth despite having that mid lane of barracks and still two outer towers standing. Knowing that that Roche is close, you, you would think that VP are very intent on getting that shrine, right? Take care of that in the dire jungle. Make sure that all of Roche is easy for you to gain control of. Now, the problem comes from that bottom lane because they lost that tier 2 earlier. And now it's only 30 seconds until Rasta, so he could wait till the 27 minute mark. But no one's already here. <laughs> MSS will lurk, though. Mm -hmm. TD Illusions on the tier 2 top. They still haven't pressed forward on to the shrine. Battle Fury up next for Yuar here. The desperation. It just synergizes so well with the Magnus, too. Mm -hmm. The Empower. It's like, oh, more cleave is definitely not a bad thing, really. Yeah. Ember, one Especially of the heroes TB. that really loves that extra cleave. And I guess the birds as well. Just oh, they got a hex onto Roger here. He's been that big hero this game. Yeah, he's going to be relatively isolated. Teammates on the low ground. And they solo. also catch Solo. Skewer up. Two great picks for forward. Uh, but unfortunately for them, it's quite a late rush. So we just get it revealed. It'll be another two minutes, so... Hard to abuse that. It will save their shrine for a while longer. And saves that tier two up top. It was definitely getting shipped away at. Resolution still shoving in lanes with his Tempest double. Yeah, VP of wave problems. That's for sure. This bottom lane is becoming a serious issue. The problem is, you think TB, it's like, yeah, it is kind of a good matchup in that sense versus the Arc Ward because you can kind of meet his capacity to shove and push lanes. But then you think, where does Ramses want to play? Like, he can only really keep this illusion control in the same vicinity that he's farming neutrals and everything. He needs to be playing on that top side of the map. He, he can't get illusions all the way down here and pushing. That means they have to kind of commit one hero in their base to do it. Uh, and they don't even have the best support for it. Like, Dazzle's like, kind of okay. But well, don't want to commit someone like that. Anyway, smoked up. High ground. Will they find someone, though? Solo is going to face check. Will actually get that He's going to know that's a very fresh observer, too. So they've been here. All right, Smoke not going to yield much for forward. No one is going to go for that Agonims after all. About halfway to that next bird. That blink from SS, though. Okay, so how do you do feel about plays. the state of this game right now, Trent? It looked like Virtus Pro was just ripping this thing wide open. They got a very easy lane of racks mid. It's like Since game then, one. this has been a stalemate. Both sides are just looking for that opportunity to catch one, and they're moving around the map 
in a, in a way that's hard for the enemy to initiate. Feels yep. like Roche is definitely the focal point both teams are going to be fighting over, but like, game, who, who has the real edge right now? It doesn't really feel like forward or that I, far behind. I think behind. forward has the edge, because like it's just like game one. It's the exact same situation. Game one, they had better wave push, despite the fact that they lost objectives earlier on, and then VP could never wrestle control again. Game yeah. two, that wasn't the case. They they had the better control in the, the match, so it didn't matter. But now we've gone back the other way. Like This Ember has just gotten to a point where he can clear waves very quickly. There is Boots of Travel, Arc Warden, and once again, it's only TV for Virtus Pro. Mm -hmm. So they just can't keep up. So what they need is they need smoke plays that result in kills. And that ended up like working well for them to a point in game one, but then they couldn't do it anymore, and they eventually lost. Yeah. So maybe this time they'll find these big smoke plays or something, but they've just been mulling about this mid lane for a while. Now Roche is up. She's at the ready. Visage inside the pit. VP being a little bit cautious here, staying very spread, but forward gaming not in the spot to contest this, and they're actually going to head the opposite way. Looks like they'll hand this one over for free yet again. Yeah. It took a while for them to finally get it uh, in a position where it was okay for them, but essentially what they did is they had Ramsey's kind of in the middle lane. He instantly made a Lucian, sent them to the bottom so that the pressure was relieved just for enough time for them to go right into the Roche pit, while also creating a buffer where uh, they seem to have been aware that the entirety of forward gaming were on that part of the map. So really nice uh, positioning there. That, that was set up over like two minutes basically from Virtus Pro to take that. No surprise to see that age just go the way of Terrorblade. Right now, Cheese in the hands of the Visage. The question is, does this change the the lane situation? And not really, right? Like, yeah. it's very difficult still to get that big barrel down uh, play. But it, again, it comes down to smokes and pickoffs. If they can kill one key hero from forward gaming and stop this nice trifecta of split push, then Virtus Pro could just have another rundown to end this game. Kind of feels the same for both sides, though. Just one pickoff could start that, that snowball towards the base. MSS, not gonna get caught by Roger. They'll back up in time. Now BKB out on the Arc Warden. And once again, Universe will go for those Guardian Greaves. Double static uh, charge really is ridiculous. <laughs> it, is. it just truly is absurd. <laughs> so it much kills the wave so quickly. BP all grouped up in the bottom lane here. Man, they've done it again where they're well set. Where like the illusions are, have hit mid, they kill one lane just as or one wave just as they're expiring, and that's time to get that pressure going. And they can mount another push into the bot. So aggressive positioning here from the dire it's using the spark rates to scout it out. Ramsey's feeling confident with his fresh 10 second BKB. Oh, they want this fight. There it is. Magnus jumps in the backside. They get two. The warts come down, and the follow up hex. They are going to find that first kill on the dazzle. It looks like. But the dunk, they've got the Ember, they've got the Arc Warden. Oh no, it's looking so bad for forward now. They're all spread out, just trying to get away from the Supernova, but the Ogre gets clipped by it. He's going to get stunned and brought down. The Delta split is not going to be enough. We've seen the buyback now from the Arc Warden to try to repel these creeps in the mid. It was a very spread out fight, but so advantageous for Virtus Pro. They still have the Aegis. Cheese was expended, but now this Tier 3 will be under assault. Magnetic Field trying to slow things down, but now this Tier 3 falling quickly. There is a Glyph available. Be very cautious about how they use it. 20 seconds until that Ember Spirit comes up. Resolution in the front line. He's falling quick. That's the Tempest up. <laughs> jabated. I did get jabated. Magnus, or MSS though, he is going to fall. Instant buyback for him. Ramsey's getting low on HP, looking for a Sunder, and he finds it. That's going to be the real Arc Warden. Now Resolution forced to BKB in front of his own well. It will keep him alive, but far from ideal. Now these exposed barracks taking huge damage. Forward can't do anything here as Yawar dies again. 50 seconds on the sideline with no buyback. Forward quickly running out of options here, Trent. Yeah, they just can't find much. Ramsey's just in there, still has an Aegis, still has a BKB. They've got no solution to this Terror Blade. The Glyph's not going to do anything at this point. Melee Barracks will fall. Still a Tier 2 standing in the top, but I think BP might be able to throw in this. Sort of a bold play, but no Rost Awards. Oh, they most no certainly RP. can. They can absolutely do it now. Ramsey's very happy to uh, get Sun right here in the midst of some Tier 4s. The birds are coming. The Necronomicons will try and do something, but there's not another oh. RP for 15 seconds. It. Oh, it certainly looks like it. Virtus Pro. Nice skewer they back. just keep going. I mean, Ramsey's still just ages. He's gonna come back to life. Still one tier four standing. There is also still a glyph for the dire. Don't forget. 
maybe if there was RP right at that moment, there's like a chance, but. Ember Spirit coming back up now with the RP. This is going to be the final hold for Forward Gaming. Last tier four is down. Resolution, BKB on. It's a nice RP. Shallow Grave comes out. Are they actually going to be able to clean up these kills? Sunder from Ramses brings down Universe. Now the buyback. Supernova from Phoenix. That'll stop the Arc Warden from getting back to the well. That's going to drive them back. The they will the hold. Blink skewer. Very costly. Forced into a thrown push by that tier two top that they were very close to bringing down several times with nothing but TB illusions. Yeah. Sitting there on 350 HP. Not quite the death push that Virtus Pro were hoping for, but pretty close to crippling damage. 14k net worth is now the favor. Look at that XP graph, Trent. Talk about a swing. Yeah. Uh, I will say, one thing I underestimated in terms of the like the split push, it did look very good because they have the Ember, the Magnus, and the Arc Warden, but they didn't actually have the best like creep clear when it got close to the high ground, you know? So <laughs> it was hard to force them off if they ever made it like anywhere close. So recognizing that forward, they tried to take that big fight outside, like deeper down the wave. And it looked really good, right? Because he got the two-man RP on both supports. He got the Dazzle and the Phoenix, but that Aeon disc from Pasha completely saved it. Guarantee yep. he was going to get the egg off. So yes, they're able to kill Solo. He just buys back and starts running. But uh, the uh, the play once again from Roger, MVP of this game, at least for me so far, feels like he uh, always getting these clutch dunks off. Just yep. help to bring down Rezo and it, you are instantaneously. Another one of these games just feels like Roger's in the right place at the right time every time they need him to come in the clutch. It's top tier two, probably not going to stay surviving for long. You are now feeling forced into an Eon disc on this Ember Spirit. Never an item that you want to be picking up on this guy. Mid one though. I mean, it looks good in some games. This is definitely not a happy game for it, I would say. Yeah, I just mean, like, Ember's a, a hero that likes to play yeah, from ahead, yeah, right? He, he really wants to do damage. If you're forcing those defensive items, it, it's never a good feeling if you're playing the Ember Spirit. Five seconds on the RP. Skewer back onto Ramses. That'll force out his BKB universe now taking a lot of damage. Buyback's looking grim for the Dire, and he's not going to have it with that RP. They'll lose the Rasta as well. Yawar trying to do what damage he can, but the dunk from Roger secures the kill. Three on the sideline without buyback. Ember will use his, but I think that's going to be it, Trent. Now with the Arc Warden dead, Slam. forward are out of resources. Man. GG is called. An epic series indeed. For, uh, forward gaming looks so good for so much of it, but VP close it out in the end. There's a reason. Uh, one, one person in this game, there's a gold icon from that Dota Plus. Not surprised, it's the Earth Shaker. Yeah, absolutely. Clearly.